Months after recovering from COVID-19, some people still can't taste or smell. Some are trying to sniff their way back to health. In a boutique on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, fragrance expert Sue Phillips takes clients on an aromatic journey. This is what's in here, pomegranate, yeah. strawberry, honeydew and berry. But these clients aren't looking for a perfume. They're COVID-19 long haulers who, after contracting the virus, lost their sense of smell. And in the case of Josh Goldenberg, a professional golfer who traveled from Florida to meet Phillips, also his sense of taste. You know, the food that my friends are eating, our family is eating, you know, tastes really good and I can't really enjoy it with them. And, you know, that's part of the reason why I wanted to come here, because if there is a chance that this, you know, helps me going forward, I 100 percent want to take it. To start the process, Philip sets up an array of fragrances on a table, starting with the lighter notes such as rose, lavender and mint. If there is no response. Obviously, I know there's a scent here, but yeah. Can't identify it. More robust scents, such as spice and musk, are used. This one's pretty intense, I think. Oh my goodness. Is Why this not? the leather one? Her goal, she says, is to clear the brain fog. We're training people to, I, I like to say, smell with your brain. And it's almost as like there's a vibration and a frequency that goes from here, the olfactory bulb to the limbic system. Mm -hmm. And then I can see their eyes light up and I can just see, almost see the frequency and I can see almost the fog lifting. And then they can start to smell again. And it's really amazing. The process can take up to an hour, but in most cases, there is a breakthrough. A little fruity. A lot fruity. Yeah. A lot fruity. Bravo. You did it. The long-term effects of COVID-19 on the brain and body are still being researched, but a Harvard University professor who spoke to Reuters said Phillips may be onto something, since some smells can trigger memories and emotions in the brain. As for Phillips, she's just happy she can use her decades of experience to help those still struggling to stop and smell the roses. The fact that I've been able to help people regain and rediscover their sense of smell um, has been just so emotional.